Hello and welcome to Dream Car Garage on a beautiful sunny Sunday in June and I'm at Tatton Park for uh, the 2018 Classic Car Show. So I've just arrived in a car park, maybe we'll get some cool cars as we're actually on the way to get to the exhibition itself. But it's an absolutely stunning day so we'll pick this up in a bit. Okay, we're getting closer now. And we can see the entrance in the distance. Oh, Just an idea exactly how many people are here. Thousands. <laughs> All right, starting off, here we have a Jaguar XGS. I really quite like this actually. I think the Saint used to have a Jaguar XGS. This is the first one that I've come across, and it's all for sale. Anyone's interested? Quite a clean one. I do like me in a, a Jaguar XJS actually. And actually, a bit of a, a bit of damage here at the, at, the, at the back. But it's quite tidy. I actually really quite like it in gold, with gold wheels as well. Jaguar XJS, nice. Can you imagine if they made cars like this? Here we have the Mercedes SL 280. <laughs> I'm not a classic car expert, so I'm not going. I'm not going to know the name of every single car here. Yeah, but so viewers, let's, let's play a little game. Let's see who can get the name of the car before I do. It's a very tight cockpit. Wow. It's a Jaguar. Now this this I do like. Ooh, I love these. I absolutely love these. It's a red seat. Yeah, I think it's a TR7. Let me I'm going to get to check it out back. Now this, I drop money on this. This is a beauty. I do like. I absolutely love these. I absolutely love these. Oh. <laughs> TR4. What year is it? 1967. Woo! 1967, this is the owner. <laughs> no, I wasn't born in 1960. <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> Be what a beauty. So, Dream Car Garage, we'll figure out okay. which one of these things you'd put your own money on. But I think so far. I think so far, this 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 takes my price so far. I love, the TR, I love me a TR, TR4. Ooh. <laughs> TR4, right? Turn down two offers of 30 grand. I saw your Peugeot 406. It's so clean though. <laughs> you must, did you restore it yourself? Or you bought it restored? Restoring is expensive, man. So, Dream Car Garage, if you want one of these, the owners turned down two offers of 30 grand. 
Mm. Would you put your money on, on this for 30 grand? Here we are with the Triumph TR4. Beauty. The owner, the chap behind me talking to my lovely wife, already turned down two up to 30 grand. Are you looking at all oh, the, the, the camper van? Yeah. This is a TR6, one of the two. I much prefer the TR4. The TR4 has got a nice ch squatter chunky proportions, but what a beauty, even so. Rover, three, a Rover V8. We used to remember these as a kid. Not my, not my personal kind of car. This one. Hi, baby. You get in the frame. Come on. This is a lovely missus. It's a, it's a, it's a video. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what car this is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a follower of American cars, but... Five months? Yeah, to get it all, all over painted and well, customised, etc. Yeah. But you're never going to say No, never. <laughs> Yeah, it's been an increased video. What engine is it? Original straight six. It's been an increased video. Yeah. What? Are you being serious? AC Cobra. Ford Escort RS. That's a classic. Wow. Here we are, Ford Escort RS. I remember these cars. These cars were practically uninsurable back in the 80s. Yeah. Remember these, Errol? Wow. Awesome to see one so clean. My goodness. And this is a classic. Ford Escort RS. Wow. You don't see these very often. Alright, moving on, what's what we've got next? Steam with Ford, Ford Capri. 2.8 injection. Remember these as well, do like these two. Ford Capri. So it's a classic, but behind me I have the Honda S2000. Not a classic, but still a sweet car. Hey. <laughs> It's a Ferrari 308 GTS. 
Just walk past everyone, don't worry about it. Yeah, sure, no problem. Probably you could refer to this as the original 3 Series. BMW 2002. I think it's got this portions of the more famous, also the more popular 330, from which we've got our first M3. Nice squat portions. Interesting strap line. No, no, it's three bad. It's actually three bad. Just taking a look at this, what a nice interior it's got. Simple, classy. Got old style tape. Surprisingly modern looking interior. Beautiful. Take a picture and show my mum. Classic Ford Escort. This one's 1.3. I do like these actually. For the, the RS version. This is nice. It's got mirrors underneath so you can see underneath. how clean the bodywork is underneath. And what I really like about this is the amount of detail people have spent minting these cars. What is it? It's a sunbeam. Right. This is Jane's choice of car. It's a sunbeam. I don't really know much about that. But this is where she put her money. It's your choice. It's your choice of car. Get in there. <laughs> One of my choices. It's a Jane's choice. Choice. It's a sunbeam. I don't know much about sunbeam, but that's her choice. Let's see what else we've got. This is old school, old school. An MG. I don't know what MG is. And this is way before is it, my is it the time. 30s or I don't know. I'm gonna guess. Looking at it. Even. 30s maybe. Let's have a look. 2018. I don't know. 1938. Where did you say that? Oh, there you go. 1938. All I can think is that people must be a lot smaller back then because there isn't a lot of room in there. <laughs> oh, here is this yours. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. 1938. Have you had it a long time? Oh, wow. Do you drive it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Look at the dashboard. You know. Cameron's got to go on for this one, you see. <laughs> Bit tasty. Tricky, uh, tricky camera this is a Triumph TR6. I saw TR4 before, which I slightly prefer the proportions, but this is, I think it's a colour as well. This one's got a beautiful colour. Nice oh, Have you seen the other one? I saw a black one. It was a black TR4 over there with a red, red leather interior. Yeah. Um, and right next to it is a TR, is a TR6. Which I didn't quite like so much, but now I'm seeing this TR6, I think the colour makes a big difference. Yeah, that sort of uh, the cream. Yeah, the cream. Ooh, with the piping on that. Ooh, you see? Ooh, here we go. Ooh, it's yeah. this is my new favourite. I, I, I don't know, I think it's, it's a tie between this and the, and the TR4 so far. Once you get to the end, you tell me how many rules you got. Blimey. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straight six. What's the power? Two and a half litre. How much BHP? Yeah. What a nice thing. This is pretty close. This or the TR4, David, what's it going to be? I'm not sure. Hi 
imagine car garage, there's a lot here. So I'm just on the hunt for something that looks a bit interesting. So next time I turn the camera on, it'll be something I think is a bit different. A brace of Morgans. And yours for just. Boom. Do like me a bit of a Morgan. This is actually a brand new one. Okay, so I've been at the show now for about an hour or so. I think some decent cars. Nothing's really, really caught my eye yet. Porsche 968, I do like, so I've got to turn my camera on for, I do like my decent Porsche, I like the older ones most of you. Now followed, following that we have the next one of my interest. Porsche 928 S4. Uh, I do like them. I like to drink a bit, but my goodness. Yeah, I'd love to have one of them. I'd love to own one. I think they'd be a bit expensive to own, but I would love to to drive one for a while. Providing someone else is fitting the bill for the petrol. So, so what do you reckon so far? <laughs> so you say it's what you prefer, you prefer the, the older stuff to the newer stuff? For the most part. I think um, obviously you know, yeah, this could do a lot more fun, but um, you can't really beat the classic cars. I think one of the big appeals of the, of the classic car is the fact that all the modern cars seem to almost hold the same kind of, kind of template. So they end, up, they end up looking very similar to each other, whereas these older cars you get a lot more variation. Or do you? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's largely to do with the fact that... Here we have some Porsche 928s and 944s. So what are you saying, baby? Come on, sorry. We got distracted by the car, so you were saying, come on. <laughs> I was saying, I think it's largely to do with the fact that previously, if someone bought a car, it was such a loud, large outlay, they would buy, buy a car, and it had to fit a lot of needs. Nowadays, people kind of get a car, buy it on higher purchase, a lot of the times, and maybe they've got more than one in the family, so it's more utilitarian and... They're not looking for that one car that's going to last them for the next 20 yeah. years. That's a good point. So, readers, which one of these is going to catch your eye? I like myself a 928. I've got a driver. This has a bonnet. Big fat engine. Grand Tora. If I could afford to fuel it, that would be one of my, my choices. Obviously, we've got a 9. Uh, 944 Turbo, I've always really liked them as well. Even with these, these cars, car prices are appreciating now. Some modern stuff. What's a really nice colour combination? Wheels exquisite.
despite something a bit interesting. Escort, RS. Followed by an Escort Cosworth, so I'll look at this one first. <laughs> Ridiculous. Constantly close to 2,000 miles. Which is nothing really, so you've done well to keep it that low, but my goodness. How long have you had it? Uh, 15 years. Wow, really? Yeah, it's only uh, six months old when I bought it. Wow. I've done 2,000 miles, so I've done 40,000. It's blue, Yeah. <laughs> it's an absolute beauty. It's been modified but in a really tasteful way. So even though Terry has been upgraded, it, it feels in character with the car, yeah. and that's that's nice. That. Well, I, I, I sat in for about three nights. How many go in? All right, now we're going to get to every boy racer's dream car. What is it? We have Ford Escort Alice Cosworth, the original. Man, I love these cars. Back when they came out, practically uninsurable for anyone under the age of 100. Probably sort of uninsurable now. Oh yeah, I'll get that in a minute. 
What a beauty. This is a beast of a car. Look at that. The wheels flop. Nineteens. Sits down just nicely. Here's one with the, it's like a matte wrap. Not really a fan of matte wraps, but works quite well here. A matte wrap with gloss vents and then gloss wheels. Please feel free to look, but please do not touch as easily marked. Okay. And there we have Grandad. And here we are, almost bang up to date. Somehow, even though I know it's four wheel drive and it's more about two, about two grand, two three grand, if they didn't show you at all. Bang up to date, somehow. Kind of same, same drama as his predecessor. These ones are like beasts. Look at them. What do you think? Side by side. It's got more aggressive front air dam, but I don't know. I think this previous one here looks much more menacing. But with OZL alloys. So it's interesting with always have black OZL alloys. This is Jane's choice. It's a car with wood and with a baseball cap on, on the front. Jane's choice for wheels. What cover? What? A walk cover. What? <laughs> Which one are you pointing at? A blue one. Okay, again, Dane's choice. Tractors to cars with wood on them. <laughs> Let's go pan around. Is it cappuccino ish? Yeah. Here we have another brace of TR4s. You see me use the word brace, I don't like it using the word brace. I really like the TR4s because they have really nice compact proportions, look really muscular. Yeah. Yeah. TR6. Six. It's tells you it's a little bit bigger. This is a nice one, it's a nice colour. Inside. Jane likes this one. It's just like the triumphs overall have been my favourite here. I think so far the triumphs have been my favourite as well. <laughs> they ain't cheap though. Yeah. I think they'll come back into favour and, and we, we find a good one. These are cars I remember from, from my youth. You've got yourself a Peugeot 205. It's like a uh, 205 Rally. And we've got Ford Escort. Vauxhall Manta. Remember these. Remember these very well. 
Pomanta, that's how it's going to be Good mix, Stephen Henry had one of these. Also on Manta. I'm a favourite of the entire tag myself. See, it's long elegant proportions. Oh, it's a little bit like a cockroach to me. Always a very shiny one. Yeah. It's like a cockroach. I think we've got the NW8 series, which I do like. Now, I can't remember what these ones are called. Plus. Early GTIs, these. Can't remember what it is. It's yours. Uh, I can't remember what the engines are on these, but I know they're big and whopping. The original GTIs, I can't remember the engine now, but classic cars for sure, genuinely. MG's answer to TVR. Not a very successful one. I think it had something like 300 and something BHP. What was the BHP originally it had? 4.6 litre engine, 350 BHP, or yeah, something like 350 BHP, 400. Uh, what's the engine? 4.6 litre engine. I think the price tag was ridiculous when it came out. Renault 5 Turbo. Ooh. The tidiest one, but even so, good to see it here. I'm not quite sure what that one is. It's a Renault, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Yeah, I recognise it. it looks a bit like a Lantia, but it's not. It's got a Renault badge on it. I don't know what that is. Alright, viewers, if you can get 10 points. I don't know what Renault that is. I don't know what Renault that is. What is it? Renault 17? Do you know what? I've never heard of a Renault 17. It looks like a like a Lancia. Never. I've never heard of it. I like it though. I don't even recall seeing it. Renault 17. I've never heard of Renault 17, which is unusual because there's not many cars I've never heard of. It's a simple interior. Renault 17 Turbo. Oh my goodness. It's yours. I've never even heard of Renault 17. I, when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, there's not many cars I've never heard of. I don't remember. It looks to me like a Lancia. Like a Lancia something. But I just I didn't I didn't recognise it at all. I like it though. Renault 17 Turbo. I don't think I've ever seen one. That really that really gives it the period. That is a nice thing. Who are because Renault Renault Williams said they're going to make a limited number. It was so popular they made they made a bunch more. So that's a yeah. while ago, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> I remember doing... Renault Coyo Williams. The thing was, Renault made a, made a, well, a limited number of these. Did really well. Instead of being, being a limited run, they made a bunch more. But that was a really good performance car. I think it had a 2 litre 150 bhp engine. 
that's the performance here, all right. I like Mia MR2. 1989. I like these. Toyota MR2. I'd have one of these. I'd have one of these as well, in white. One of these older ones. I like these. It's got, it's got the wrong wheels on them, apart from that. The wheels from modern MR2. But, um, to MR2. Come in. Ladies drawn to TVRs. I can see why. Ooh. Here we have Tamara. It's a beer, right? Sober. Another Tamara here. Looks so dramatic in his colour. These cars have always looked like they've been dropped out of space. And even now, years later, this car's 15 years old. Still looks like it's dropped out of space. TVR when it came to car design. Look at that. Glass wing. Lots of new stuff like that. Look at that. Blessed wheel arches. Blessed wheel arches. Blessed wheel arches. Did the wheel arches come out? I think Ali were the ones that have really started doing that. Oh man. Have one of these now. I would definitely, definitely have one of these now. I would definitely have one of these now. Uh, an Audi Quattro. Yeah, this has got to be one of my cars at the show as well. Actually. I love me an Audi. I'd have, I definitely have an Audi Quattro as well.
even now with all the modern raft of cars that Audi produced, this is still a good looking Robert Portion car. Yeah, I have one even now. I like them. Let's see a few more. Ooh. Morning cream. It's nice and cream. Morning cream. That's oh, like a pearl. Remember them in pearl? I'm not sure they're pearl wheels, but yeah. Red. Audi Quattro's. Nowadays everything's called Audi Quattro, but when you say Audi Quattro, this is what you really are. I'm calling, maybe I'm selfish. Out, so I want you to myself, I can't help it. Oh my, yeah, maybe I'm selfish. You're my. Chicks down in Texas, all the way to New Orleans where the girls cook catfish. And in LA, every chick's an actress. Hollywood status with the shaded glasses. To Detroit, yeah, the place that I rest, where the ladies got asses and the live sex. And how the land of is one of the best. Where they speak southern slang and smoke lasses. And New York women are way too fresh. Too much on your mind. Let me ease that stress. I wish you all were mine. It's so selfish. Maybe I'm feeling myself too much, I guess. But to my ladies all across the globe. In small towns that I don't even know. No. To all local international codes. Whether you see me in the streets or catch me at shows, I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. Out. I want you to myself. I can't help it. Oh my. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. You're my lady. Jane's found her car here. <laughs> I've got lots of friends with me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the detail on the car then. I've taken take a picture already. No, with oh, with that one. It. We're going to try one All right. with this on now. Adventure before dementia. I agree. See, that that sums me up in that car. Aww. We're all
Simita GTE. I'm quite sure how exactly how you pronounce it. Alright, okay.